Our universe is expanding at a staggering rate, making it incredibly difficult to define its boundaries or measure its full scale. But thanks to technological marvels like the James Webb Space Telescope, we can now peer deeper into the cosmos than ever before. With each new discovery, scientists such as Brian Cox have been revealing a universe far vaster than we once imagined. Based on studies of the observable cosmos, we now estimate there are around two trillion galaxies within our view. And yet, this mind-blowing number only represents a fragment of what may be an infinite universe, a reality we are only beginning to comprehend. We are not separate from the universe, we are a part of it. In a sense, we are the universe becoming aware of itself. With the help of the James Webb Telescope, we embark on a journey across time and space to explore the vast architecture of existence. If you're passionate about space and want to stay updated on the latest cosmic discoveries, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Give this video a thumbs up and tap the notification bell so you never miss a new upload. To grasp the enormity of the cosmos, let's start with our own backyard. If we were to travel at 70 miles per hour, we would circle the Earth's equator in about 15 days. It would take roughly five months to reach the Moon, 63 years to reach Mars when it's closest to Earth, and an unbelievable 4,400 years to reach Neptune. These figures alone demonstrate how massive our solar system really is. Consider Voyager 1, launched in 1977 and traveling at a speed of 38,000 miles per hour. It took this spacecraft 35 years to finally exit our solar system in 2012. Even light, which travels fast enough to circle the Earth seven times in a single second, seems slow when compared to the colossal distances involved in space travel. But as vast as our solar system is, it's minuscule compared to the Milky Way galaxy. Our galaxy houses approximately 300 billion stars, many of which have their own planetary systems. The nearest star system to us, Alpha Centauri, is 4.3 light years away. Even if we could travel at Voyager 1 speed, it would take us around 70,000 years to get there. This paints a striking picture of the immense scale of the universe. Take Betelgeuse, for instance, a red supergiant star located 640 light years from Earth. When we look at Betelgeuse tonight, we are actually seeing light that left its surface more than six centuries ago, well before Columbus crossed the Atlantic. That ancient light is just reaching us now. Our radio transmissions, which have been broadcast for roughly the past 100 years, have so far reached about 15,000 nearby star systems. Yet, this number is a tiny fraction of the total stars in the Milky Way. To visualize it, if our solar system were the size of a quarter, then the Milky Way would span the size of the continental United States. Within this immense galaxy, we're just one of 300 billion star systems. And beyond the Milky Way, there are at least a trillion more galaxies. A trillion. To grasp this number, imagine a thousand dogs. Now imagine a thousand groups of a thousand dogs. That's one million. Now multiply that million by another million, and you begin to approach a trillion. That's how many galaxies exist out there. Our closest galactic neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, lies 2.5 million light years away. Andromeda is actually on a collision course with the Milky Way. Despite its enormous mass, one trillion stars compared to the Milky Way's 300 billion, the vast distances between stars mean the chances of individual stellar collisions are minimal. Zooming out even further, the Milky Way and Andromeda belong to the local group, which itself is part of the Virgo cluster, home to over 1,500 galaxies. That cluster, in turn, forms part of an even larger supercluster called Laniakea, which contains about 100,000 galaxies. Each galaxy in Laniakea holds hundreds of billions of stars and planets, and even this vast structure is just a small component of the observable universe. 
and what lies beyond. There are about 10 million other superclusters in the observable universe. These mapped galaxies only scratch the surface of the cosmos. There are likely hundreds of billions of galaxies we have not yet observed or mapped. Adding to the complexity is the cosmic microwave background radiation, the faint echo of the Big Bang, and the oldest light we can detect. Beyond the galaxies lie immense regions called cosmic voids, massive expanses with relatively little matter. These voids span hundreds of millions of light years and appear as vast, seemingly empty spaces. But these regions are part of the dynamic evolution of the cosmos. Connecting galaxies and clusters are cosmic filaments, enormous threads of gas, dust, and dark matter that stretch for billions of light years, forming what we now know as the cosmic web. This web binds the universe together through gravitational interaction and creates the intricate large-scale structure of the cosmos. Within this vast web, we find countless astrophysical phenomena. Supernovae distribute elements across space. Black holes with their powerful gravitational forces shape galaxies and shoot out jets of energy. Quasars, the brilliant beacons powered by supermassive black holes, help us peer into the early universe. But the biggest question remains, what lies beyond the observable universe? Many galaxies lie beyond our reach, their light too faint or too far to ever reach us. Due to the accelerating expansion of space, most of these galaxies will forever remain invisible to us. Estimates suggest that the actual universe may be at least 250 times larger than the observable portion. Some theories even propose it could be infinite. If that's true, then our known universe is only a microscopic piece of a vastly larger puzzle. This realization invites profound questions about our existence. Who are we in this grand expanse? As beings on a small rock orbiting an average star in a quiet corner of one galaxy among trillions, we begin to understand just how rare and precious our awareness of the cosmos really is. So have you ever wondered just how big the universe truly is? Hopefully, this journey has brought you one step closer to grasping the incredible scale of it all. Leave your questions in the comments, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and share it with someone who loves science and space. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss a cosmic update. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.